Hello, everyone. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a Hello World web application using React, Next.js, and Tailwind CSS. From my other videos, if you're wondering how the Next apps were set up initially, you can always check back on this video. Here are the things you will need before we start coding. A computer, for sure. A Mac or a PC, it is okay. A good text editor. My favorite one is VS Code. It's very convenient if you do React.js development. We will need Unix-specific command line interface. I like to use Terminal on Mac. And also another requirement is very important is to install Node.js version 14.6 before we start. That's all. First, let's create a new project. So this is VS Code. So right now it's empty. We can use command line to create a new project. You can actually open the terminal from here. So this is the directory that I want to create a new app. So here I will call MPS create next app. This is a template developed by Next.js. It is a very good starter app. And then we can name our app. So we can say my first app. How about that? And return. Okay, so it tells us it's going to create a new app with this package. And yes, to proceed. And you know, do we want to use TypeScript? Yes. Do we want to use ESLint? Yes. Do we want to have a source directory? Mm, um, by default, we don't need that, but you can choose yes. And do you want to use app directory? I think by default, I will give a no, but you can definitely choose to use app. The next one is alias. Which one do you want to? do with I think import alias at it is good and now is starting to create a new app it may take as well installing the dependencies okay success the app is already created but right now we cannot run the app yet. We need to build this app first. So we will do M. So now the app is already created, but we cannot run the app yet. So we need to build this app first. Right now we are still under the web directory. We want to go to our own app. So it's called a next, my first app. Okay, here we can run NP at M run build so it's building all right so now it's done so if you are wondering why we run this command so build is actually a target in the package. So basically we ask the app to run the target. So usually at the end, oh, here, here we go. And you will see those targets pretty soon. Okay, so next one, we're going to run npm run start. So start is what you saw there. It is another target. So now it's running. We can open this. Here we go. The app is running under localhost 3000. 
support and that this is the new app. One very cool thing about using Next.js is another target I want to show you now. So if you run npm run dev, it's very similar to npm run start, but is for your development. So when you run this, it will start an app. But the cool things is whenever you make a code change, this browser will automatically refresh. This is very, very cool. In the past, when we didn't have that, whenever you make a code change, you, you have to rerun the command line. It's not very efficient, but that solved the problem. The reason why it works is because there's a socket connection that keep listening the code change. So whenever you make the change, the browser will get notified and it will refresh the page. It is very convenient. I will show you. So now we already create a next app based on React.js and Next.js. Now we can open this app in VS Code so that we can actually make change on the code. So we can say open folder and go to the directory that we just created, which is here. Add. Now you can see all the files and directory under that app. The next step, we're going to install Tailwind CSS in this app. Control C to stop the process. And then we can install Tailwind. So those are the things we will need. Tailwind CSS, post CSS, auto prefixer. Nice installing. Cool. It's already installed. The next one will be creating the Tailwind config in the app. So we can do NPS Tailwind CSS init dash P. So now you see we add a few new files here and here and here. Cool, awesome. Next, we want to configure Tailwind CSS. So now you see this Tailwind config.js. Let's click on this file. So you see it's pretty empty there. We want to configure the content here. So we want all the React components under pages, which is this directory, to be configured with Tailwind CSS. I'll copy it here. So they will recognize JS, TS, JSX, TSX, and we will use TSX, that is TypeScript React JS component. So now we can save. So then we also need to add the Tailwind directives to the styles. So where are the styles? Here, global. So now you see those are the sample code that to be used in this page. We don't need those. We can delete them, but we will configure to use Tailwind. Here and save. So then we have everything already cleaned up. We want to also clean up this page. So you see this page still have a lot of things that we don't need. Let's clean this up. So it's under pages and index page. This page, this React components represent the page here. So we don't need those. Let's clean up a little bit here. So I already have the code ready here and I will explain. So in this page, we call it as a home page and it is a div and then a paragraph. And within those, we are using the syntax from the Tailwind CSS to, to say 
these components. It is centered horizontally and vertically. Let's just start the server. npm run dev. And we need to save this too. Voila, see, it is the hello world in the center of the page. So I wanna show you this magical thing about auto refresh the page. So if we we're making any change on this page, hello world, grace, and save it. I didn't do anything, I just saved this file and then this show on the page. It's gonna be super, super efficient when I do developing. This is the whole setup about how to create a bare bone next web application with Tailwind CSS. In the future, if you're wondering how to create a new app using Next.js, you can always check back on this video. I cannot wait to see what you are going to build on top of that. Thank you for watching and see you next time.